Welcome back to RG Geek. Today I'm showing Xbox Game Pass Ultimate played over the cloud with an Odin connected via USB C to USB C cable to a portable monitor and me crashing into random trees. That's always good. So just said turn around whenever possible. So we're gonna do that right now. So this is a and this is an 8-bit do Pro 2 controller right here that I'm using to play Xbox Game Pass. I already put the Odin in uh, Xbox mode. So you can uh, set up, if you want it to display like this, like a Switch setup, like B-A-Y-X, or you want it to understand it as an Xbox layout for the buttons. So obviously for Xbox, I set it for Xbox. I also set it for Xbox when I play uh, Stadia and when I play Antstream, which is also fun. We actually didn't plan this video, it just set this up and it worked, and we're like, wow, this is amazing. And note, there's no power going to the monitor as well. It's being powered by the Odin with one single cable. Let's see what this event is about. This yet dusty trail that picks its way through the rocky desert and alternates between paved and dirt roads. Okay, that sounds good. Let's select it. I'll just take oh, take that first car, that truck, Jeep. I didn't see it. I just picked it. Bronco. I think the picture quality looks really good on here. Start race event. And this is again. This is all streaming over the cloud, just straight over the internet. And this is Forza Horizon Five for those who haven't figured it out yet. <laughs> This is me going off road for a little bit. Trading paint here. I think this just looks phenomenal. Maybe frame rate issues, but I'm not sure. And obviously there's a problem with Odin that you can't actually turn off the Odin screen, because I'd rather not be running a screen that I'm not actually looking at. But I guess you could say it's an observer screen, so you can give it to a friend and they can watch your game with their own screen. It's not really a benefit, it just happens. I imagine in an OS update they will add that ability to be able to turn off the Odin when you're connected to an external monitor. Or maybe with the Nintendo DS or the... Um, 3DS emulators, you can uh, play one screen, put one screen on your external device and have your touch screen on your local device, like you do on a Wii U. It's pretty, it'd be pretty epic. I haven't tried that out yet, though. I just shunt him, knock him into a wall, and let's go! <laughs> so I'm rocking this first place here. Yeah. This is about, I think this is the second race I've played, or third, something like that. But I played a lot of Forza Horizon 4, so. This just looks great. I love this. I mean, a more practical application to this would be if you had, um, you wanted to play some retro games with a friend. You could connect this to an external monitor and connect two controllers and you're on your way. Obviously the dock makes it even easier. You can even connect Nintendo 64 and GameCube controllers directly to the dock. That's pretty crazy. No adapter needed. So I don't know when I'll get the dock eventually. <laughs> Here we go. About to finish. Boom! 
first. Nice. The Seattle Trail completed. Mm. So I'm going to be playing some Game Pass like this. Well, this doesn't look so clear. I don't think it looks clear on this screen. So it might actually be more fun to somehow prop this up. It actually doesn't look that much clearer on the screen. What do you think? You think it looks a lot clearer? They both look a little, a little bit blurry. Yeah, both of them, but you can still adjust the brightness on that one. True. We adjust the brightness so be better. And, yeah. Um, this is, let's see, what's the brightness on this one? Probably like 20%, I think, if I remember correctly. Oh no, 40. Okay. It's brighter than I thought. Alright. Well, thanks for watching. And like. like <laughs> like, subscribe, share with your friends who are into Odin's playing Xbox Game Pass Ultimate with an external monitor because everybody's friend wants to do that, right? And I'll see you next time on Retro Game Geek.